and hello welcome to this video on installing Ansible Tower on an Ubuntu machine um, if you're new to my channel my name is Roger Perkin I am CCIE number 50,038 and I make videos on network automation and currently a lot on Ansible I post about once a week so if you'd like to see more of this then please subscribe just hit the subscribe button below and tick that notification button so you'll know uh, as soon as I upload a new video. So with all that out of the way, let's install Ansible Tower on Ubuntu. So I've got the documentation here and just checking through the requirements. So the operating systems that are supported, Red Hat Linux, CentOS and where we're going today is Ubuntu 16.04 so I've got a clean Ubuntu machine running at the moment and we're going to take it from the very beginning and you can follow along. So the only real um, requirements from there are that we need two gigs of RAM and two CPUs so we're on the screen now of a brand new clean Ubuntu 16.04 desktop machine I'm just going to show that we don't have anything installed. Now to install Tower you need Ansible um, which is quite interesting because the Tower install just runs as a playbook. So the first thing we need to do is download the Tower software and as of the time of recording today uh, the latest version I think is 3.2.5 so let's just do Ansible Tower installation and here's the docs.ansible.com page and um, where are we? Download the Tower installation program and here's the releases. So this is where you need to be releases.ansible.com Ansible Dash tower setup. Now we're going to go into the latest version, which is 3.2.5. Just going to save this file. And I'm just going to extract that right there in the downloads folder. So we've got the software. Now what we need to do is to install Ansible so that we can run the playbook to run the Ansible Tower installation. So the first thing I need to do is just a few um, update commands here just to make sure that we're up to date with all the packages. So just do a sudo up, get update. And to install Ansible. Now I will put all these commands in the description for the video so you can just run through these. So this is just adding the Ansible repository. Do one more update. As of the time of recording this, Ansible is up to version 2.6, so I just need to make sure that 2.6 comes in. So the final command sudo apt get install Ansible. Let's see what we've got 2.6.2, so we're, we're popping in the latest version. finished installing uh, I've done that bit so we've got lose that so I've now got Ansible installed I've also got the package for tower in my downloads directory which is here so if we go into that directory
in here we've got to do one little tweak uh, to the inventory so I'm just going to edit the inventory file and all we have to do is put a password for the admin password and then the user is admin and this is source now Ansible which is free for as many devices as you want okay so um, the other one is the rabbit MQ password so I've got this is what we need to put a, a password for the rabbit MQ a password for the database and this is your password that you'll use to log in to tower when you get there so that's done do another LS and what we need to do is just run this setup here. So setup.sh and this will run uh, the install.yaml playbook and now that we've got Ansible installed it will go through and hopefully hit that install Ansible tower. Now you can see it's doing a lot. I'll let this run so you can see um, it will take a good few minutes. So what I'll do is just pause on a few of the bits where they take a long time. Um, but if you want to see how long it's going to take, and the bit where it sticks is um, when it gets to installing the tower package itself. So I'm just going to pause this recording and we'll come back to it when it goes through the next bit. So this is the bit when you're installing it yourself that it will stick on. It's installing the tower package with the APT module. Now this will probably sit there for about five minutes doing this. So you just need to be patient and let it run. So I will just pause the video once more. Okay, that's on again. Um, that took about four minutes there uh, to install uh, the Ansible package. Oh, it's got a red. Failed to change the timber files. Yeah, that's okay. Now it's installing Postgres, so it's, it installs a local database, a Postgres database. you might see a, a bit of red but what we're looking for at the end of this is a completed successfully
and this is another part of the install where it does take a few minutes so when it migrates the tower database schema but each of these sections you know that they'll take a couple minutes but as long as you know to expect that then you can just sit and let it run I would just set this running and come back to it in a bit I'm just gonna pause it once more okay the database migration actually took about seven minutes on my machine but I am running this on an ESXi box and that's a home PC with about 16 gigs of RAM but you know seven minutes to do the database So I think we're coming to the end of the install here. And then once Tower is fully installed, all you have to do is browse to the IP address of your host machine using HTTPS and log in. Here we go. So we can see we had a 125 changes we've got a lot of things changed and the setup process completed successfully so this is the moment of truth I'm going to just check locally on this machine just verify my IP uh, 192.168.1.167 drop out of here and back to my main machine 192.168.1.167 should get us to our Ansible tower and looks good here it is so we log in with admin and the password which I put as Roger and what this will do first is it will prompt you to go and get a license so from this position uh, you request a license which will take you off to Ansible and then you can either choose the Ansible Tower trial um, that will do for enterprises which will let you sync up with LDAP. Now this is a time limited one and the free trial which doesn't expire but only allows you limited features and up to 10 nodes. So just request which license you want. You'll get an email back from Ansible and then you attach that license file there and you're done. So that is Ansible Tower installed. Thanks for watching and if you like this video and you want to see more then please subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications so you'll be notified when I put new videos up and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And one more thing I just want to add that this video has actually come from a course that I've produced uh, called Ansible for Network Engineers and this is from the tower section. So if you'd like to learn more about how Tower operates, how to run the playbooks within Tower, then I've also included a link for that course in the description. So please do check that out uh, where there's a lot more tutorials than you'll find on my YouTube channel that goes into more depth on how to run Ansible, Tower, AWX, and I do touch on F5 and Juniper and using Git. So enjoy. <laughs>